This question is all about calculating mortgage interest rates. Chris takes out a mortgage for 160,000. It has an interest rate of 0.2% per month. He repays 710 per month. The amount of mortgage outstanding at the end of the nth month is given by the iteration formula. And there we go, we can see it below, where AO equals 160,000. Complete the table to show the amount of mortgage outstanding at the end of the each of the first four months. So we can see, in order to get the second month, well, zero to first, mm -hmm. he's taken the 160,000 and he's got 159,610 amount outstanding. How do we actually get the next one then? Well, what we can do, we can take the 159,610 that he's got left to pay at the end of one month, we can times it by the interest rate, which in this case, of course, is 0.2% per month. So 1.002. But of course, he pays off 710 per month. So we take away the 710. Put that into a calculator, we're going to get 159.219.22. If we do the same again, 159219.22 times 1.002 and then of course take off the repayment we're going to get 158827.66 and the same again will give us 158435.31 the second part of the question Chris says in these four months the total interest is more than £1200 is he correct? We must show our work in how would we approach a question such as this. We're going to first start off with the total amount of the mortgage. After four months, he still owes this amount, so we're going to take that off. 158.435.31, and that will give us a figure of 1564.69. Now, we need to consider how much of that was actually interest that he paid off. So how much did he pay off? 710 times 4, and then we're going to take off the amount he has actually paid off, £1,564.69, and that will leave us with actually the amount of interest that he's had to pay, £1,275.31. Of course, 1275 31 is of course greater than the 1200 so therefore is he correct yes he is